Did you go trick or treating? We went trick or treating. Yeah, we did the whole. Did you thing. go to another neighborhood? People leave their neighborhoods. Here I went. Too. Yeah, I went to a friend's neighborhood because they had this like block party. Uh huh. Um, no, it's very different in a city, you know, versus yeah. the suburbs. Well, and especially here because it's very hilly. So there's yeah. not a lot of areas that you're going to walk up and down. Well, you walk up and down and you're getting exercise. Yeah. So I didn't even need to go to the gym. Not like I go to the gym, but yeah. I was like, I really didn't need to go to the gym. You don't go to the gym? I should go to the gym. Yo, you really look horrible. You, yeah. I was going to tell you, you should start taking care of yourself because hey, you've really let you, yourself I, I, go. You know, yeah. it's, it's called stress. Yeah, <laughs> no, um, yeah, I should, I should. Do you don't work out at all? You're in the you cover know, of Shape Magazine. I know. Are you an imposter? How, how are you on the cover of Shape Magazine? You know how to do the thing, right? So that's right. what I was doing. No, but you're talking about um, mainly. You talk this is about all about inner beauty, inner and beauty. it really is about celebrating uh, the thing that is important, which is inner beauty and confidence. Because there's so many different ideas. I, I launched a beauty company uh, a little over a year ago, and there's so many different ideas of what is beautiful. And so many beauty companies want you to become someone else. And I was like, how about if you are, just, if we're just enhancing and celebrating your own beauty, right. and that's what honest beauty is all about. Yeah. And it's done so well. So you started, I mean, we talked about it on the show when you were just launching this, this company, and it started with you having a baby and realizing there were chemicals in all these cleaning products that are unsafe for your kid to be crawling around on the floor. And well, there's, yeah, there's potentially harmful chemicals that are in everyday products, and I just wanted to have safety and performance and usually when you look at alternative products it didn't really work it looked like maybe someone made it in their backyard and it smells like patchouli and i'm like but that's not me like i'm modern i want like great design and i want it to be accessible like I grew up with both my parents working three jobs each. My dad was in the military. I think everyone should have access to healthy products to live a healthy life. And so I really, it was important that they're also affordable. Yeah, and you started with cleaning products, and now you have... And yeah, it's cleaning, diapers and wipes. I washed my hair last night with uh, your shampoo and the conditioner. Honesty, yeah. You have now uh, shampoo and conditioner, which I loved, and the, and the, uh, the hair products. And, yeah. and I'm going to do the leave-in conditioner tonight. Um, <laughs> you have bubble bath and you have, uh, you know, sunscreen and eye gel and everything. But you were just, uh, in August, I think you were, uh, I think they uh, said you were worth $1.7 billion? No, I mean, that's just, that's a valuation. The, the company that, is. The company. The yeah, company yeah. is. And, and it's just a valuation that magazines put on your company. It's not like, we've never come out and said that that's what. But if someone is saying that, Jessica... <laughs> That is what your company is worth, and you should own it and be proud of that, because you built this company up from nothing, and you should be proud of it. Now, now can I borrow some money? <laughs> No, but it's really great. And you're doing something that's really cool. You're doing election diapers. Yes, so, we did. So you're, you have an elephant and a donkey uh, both on the <laughs> diapers so that we can all come together and uh, <laughs> the, the stuff that's in there, which is what... <laughs> I think Here's the idea. Yeah. We feel like... This election in particular, a lot of us feel really torn and we feel like we have to be so divided, but we all want to share in the dream and the promise that you can be anything and that's what America is about. And so we wanted to do that and use diapers as a platform really to celebrate what is intrinsically in babies, which is they just love. They just love. They, they don't. They 